Welcome to A Recipe Reborn, featuring your favorite foods from Final Fantasy XIV. Hello, my name is Lemon Drop, and today I am making bacon bread, which is featured in the conclusion of the Return to Ivalice storyline. The Warrior of Light and the Wandering Dramaturge share ten loaves with butter, wine, and stories from the Ritterana Cataract. This recipe is basically a French baguette, stuffed with bacon and shaped like a spike of wheat. Sounds good, right? I'll tell you right now that this is a two-day recipe, but I promise it will be less effort than if you did it in one. Using a wooden spoon, I'm mixing the ingredients together until it pulls away from the bowl and forms a ball. The first proof will happen overnight, so I'm covering it with plastic to leave on the counter for approximately 12 hours. So you can mix it in the evening and then bake it in the morning. Alright, 12 hours later, the dough has doubled in size and is ready to cut. The dough is sticky, so make sure to flour your counter and your hands. I am making two loaves, so I'm cutting it in half, but you could cut it into thirds and make three smaller loaves if you prefer. I'll set one half aside and pat out the dough into a rectangle. The size of your loaf depends on the size of your pan and oven, so double check that everything fits. Next, I am laying the bacon on the dough. You may want to bake, boil, or fry the bacon ahead of time based on your preference, but I'm lazy, so I'm not doing any of those. To seal in the bacon, I am rolling the lower, long side of the dough rectangle upward and leaving the seam side down. This baking sheet is lined with parchment paper and I'm sprinkling cornmeal over it before transferring the rolled dough onto it. The next step is to shape the dough into grains of wheat. Using a sharp pair of scissors, I'm cutting the dough 3 quarters of the way through at a 45 degree angle. The cuts should be evenly spaced along the length of the dough, and I recommend that you make two cuts and then move one grain to the right and one grain to the left to keep them from sticking together. The dough needs to proof one last time, so I'm sprinkling some flour over it before covering with plastic and leaving it on the counter for about an hour. Since this is a baguette recipe, humidity is an important part of its success. This pan of water goes on the lower oven rack after the oven is done preheating. Just before putting the dough in the oven, I'm giving it a light misting of water. After five minutes of baking, I'm giving the dough a second spray of water. After 10 total minutes of baking, I'm spraying it again and rotating the pan to make sure the loaf browns evenly. After 15 total minutes, it is done baking. It smells so good, and you can see it just steaming with bacony aromas. And here it is. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that freshly baked bread is amazing. What makes this extra special is that there's a hint of savory saltiness tucked inside. The flavor and texture of bacon fat is present, so I personally don't think adding butter is necessary. But if you cooked your bacon before rolling it into your dough, adding some fat back with butter wouldn't hurt. For the full recipe and instructions, please check out the link to my website in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button. And if you love Final Fantasy XIV food, please think about subscribing. If you get really inspired and make this dish at home, please tweet and Instagram your pictures to me at A Recipe Reborn. I'd also love to hear your tips and variations, so please share them in the comments below. See you next time, and bye for now.